Italy's service joining with the defense force, utilizing land and air support searching the hills of Hague Street. But this resident said the police were misled. We the youth in Jamaica like a little free Christmas list. Christmas list is just a man who goes around with his camera and he focuses on what is going on in the ghetto. So all I'm asking you in Trinidad and Trinidad and people to go out and demonstrate for Christmas list. Christmas just came safely to Trinidad. He taught all the different communities in Trinidad and Tobago. He said he was going to leave on Sunday. He last post said he was going to leave tomorrow. Sunday came, Sunday left. He did not leave. Johnny Bravo right now is in the Canadian consulate. Um, when we went in, Christmas list went into the Canadian consulate on Monday afternoon, and allegedly he said that there were threats that were made against his life. Uh, he, he didn't respond, and he called me back. And allegedly, that's two police officers in Seville tried to him to get some information about the gang. They tried to get him to, to talk about the people from the gang areas and he said he's gonna like call me back in two hours and uh, he never called me back. What is your name? Chris Hughes. Where are you from? Toronto, Canada. Who's your attorney at the law currently? Jonathan right here in front of me. Right, so here's the update with Christmas list, guys. Here what's going on. So we know for certain, thanks to a police officer, gave us the information on our friend. He's been held by the police, right? Now when we went, Johnny Bravo them went to the station. I wouldn't say what station I went to or where they went. They found out. They was confirmed. Yes, he's been detained by the police. We saw that there is a warrant document that was out. Somehow Christmas list was on the news. And then by the morning as you reach back or wherever, 7 o'clock this morning, the police detained him, right? The police came by him and the warrant paper says that they want to get his cameras, um, his phone, his devices, his laptops, his chargers. So, what we do know is that for whatever reason, they're trying to implicate um, Christmas or like the police don't want to do their own work. They want to take a tourist or a journalist devices to be able to confiscate their things and put the journalists under all the stress, right? All the stress, right? It's unfair to Mr. Christmas after everything what he's done for Trinidad and Tobago. The resistance family is? It's our organization as we love. Can I show your face? No. Yeah, yeah face is only love for those things with. Yeah, family. No, no, can't think of nothing. It's only love. Yeah, family. And you see all our week here? He does for five things. But I'll tell you what I told people I'm going to say the resistance. Out of every community I went to, they said, be careful. These guys are dangerous. Yeah, they will tell you. They will tell you that I'll be coming back. But I'm in the damn thing. They don't like me. I can't remember. Yes. They don't like me. They don't like me. They don't know. You know about the gang. They don't about the love of the community. What are we going to do? Here in front of me. Do you know why you're being held? Um, I've been given two reasons promoting gangs and the not proper uh, visa entry upon arrival. So the reason I'm here is because time is short and I'm gracious for the TTPS officers right now that are making me see you. I just need my instructions so I can write on my matters because you know the international pressure is upon us to ensure your safety in Trinidad and Tobago. So can you please tell me your responses to all the allegations you heard in Mark Wissan's express story? Get you for news, please. I need your instructions. I can go to court in the morning by 10 p.m. That's my deadline date with the red yeah. officer with you. Please tell me your reaction to what you saw there. Right. So first and foremost, this is the first thing I've seen. I haven't heard any of this from the detectives questioning me. Uh, no, I did not promote any gangs. No, I did not give advice to any gangs. Uh, no, I did not profit or exchange any money with any gangs. 
i asked questions to strangers on the street never was there a proper proclamation of gangs not every black man this in trinidad is a gang member a lot of mention of gangs 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 in these videos not in these videos in this article if you watch my videos which which are available for the whole world to see you will see there's no mention of gangs again and again i didn't speak to any gang leaders there's no proclamation of gang leaders everything i've read in this article is false period i'm a man with a camera